uh hello everyone uh hope you all are doing great so i think my voice is clear okay so uh behalf of it takes ahead i welcome you all uh before starting the session uh, follow our social media and subscribe our channel so uh our community is open platform for all student to learn and grow together at takes ahead we believe in the power of knowledge to enhance humanity and make greater impact for tech enthusiast budding entrepreneur designer and curious learner tech side is here for you we organize peer to peer learning session engaging with people and make sure you learn from the best so today we have anusha jain thanks anusha for joining our uh, thanks uh, thanks for in accepting uh, accepting our invitation let me introduce our today speaker anusha jain she is undergraduate at mnit jaipur along with she is software engineering intern 2021 at jp morgan and dishau assistant fellowship 2020 thanks for joining uh, how are you anusha i am good thanks for inviting me yeah. anusha yeah it's my pleasure so i request every attendee please feel free to drop your questions in chat box anusha will clear your all doubts so first let me ask her some question from my side so please introduce yourself anusha um Although you told everything about me, but yeah, on a formal note, I'll take it. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Anusha Jain. I am from MNIT Jaipur, and currently I am in my fourth year of BTech. And I have done my summer internship at JP Morgan Chase and Company under SCP, that is Software Engineering Program. And uh, the, in year 2020, I was selected as a DSIS Ascend Fellowship recipient. Where there, I was uh, one among the 30 selected candidates from all over India. so that's okay, about okay. me and currently okay, okay. also so, i am like co coordinating with the placement cells in my college that's like current pior okay 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 so that's great uh, so uh, what exactly is dishau scholarship or fellowship we can say uh, what uh, what exactly it is yes actually uh, you must have seen very various uh, female only opportunities in these big firms like there are very various kinds of scholarships fellowships organized by google dish or adobe etc so this is a sent fellowship or the uh, educare program is uh, linked with that only it is a female only opportunity where female undergraduate students in their four year btech course or be course can enroll uh, and this is like very specific for second year and third year uh, students so they have this opening they last year they had this opening as fellowship this time they are having it as an educare program so for our case like in 2020 we had this this is ascend fellowship there it was a three day event where we were recognized as fellows and uh, we were given an exposure to the firm and given were, were also given some goodies like, and recognition and all those that we are someone who are curious to learn about technology finance and are moving ahead so it was a part of the diversity in equity and inclusion uh, program and yeah that that was about the shawsh and fellowship okay 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 that's great so uh, what uh, like eligibility criteria only uh, second year and third year student can apply right last year it was Order. only restricted to yeah. the pre final year undergraduates that was third year students okay. and that too fe only female undergraduates mm -hmm. but this time they have they have launched a new program which is this is ascend educare which is open for second year as well as third year female undergraduate students okay okay that's cool like uh, what is the procedure like how to apply for this like uh, procedure of application okay again there are two different scenarios last year in 2020 there was only self nomination uh, like the application part that was like we have to fill our self nomination we in the application form itself there were some essay type of questions that which we wrote and <sighs> and we submitted our resume to them and then based on based on that they shortlisted the candidates and whom they found really worth taking the fellowship this time they have this this thing along with a coding test and an interview so okay okay there is a okay so so uh, do our je beats and and other exams and all impaired like kvy ntac ranking and marks matter because uh, i see there is option in application yes actually it is not compulsory for everyone to write their je rank mark score whatever because it is obviously not possible for all the applicants that they have taken these exams 
but it puts a weightage like it it's kind of an achievement you have uh, in your uh, portfolio or in your trajectory so you can mention but it is not at all compulsory to mention okay if okay. you have then it will add more weight to your application acha 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 that's cool okay so do our contribution matters like uh, in open source if you are uh, if anyone is good in open source or uh, they uh, have some good projects so is it matter like yes because obviously all students from there will be applicants from all over the country so, so everyone will be having some plus and plus with them like in their cv someone is mentioning their achievements in this uh, je and all these exams someone might be writing about the uh, projects that they are doing some might might be writing about the internship experience because the show is uh, at the end they are going to see how much technical you are and how much interested you are in taking the mentorship fellowship etc related te to technology and if you have a prior experience that will obviously add weight to your application okay uh, in getting shortlisted for the future rounds okay so that's cool uh, uh... Uh, how do you stay updated about such type of opportunities like uh, what's the source this is a good question really because there are a lot of openings so i think i'm really active on social media and by social media i mean i'm active on linkedin so i got to uh, to know about this from linkedin itself and also i have friends who circulate this kind of messages in various whatsapp telegram groups and also our placement cell uh, circulates the this kind of off, ca off campus opportunities in the official mail of our ca uh, campus so i got to okay. know about this from various places okay so in disha sn fellowship how many selection rounds are there uh for us it was only the first round which was our application self nomination and the essay answer writing thing which we did in a go like uh for uh, like the applications were open in uh, september 2020 and we submitted the application before a date or something before a deadline and then that was only part from from my end which i had to do but again this time we are they are having this is ascend educare program which is not fellowship which is something different so they have three rounds for this time so there is the first is self nomination and uh, application form filling second round will be the coding test of the shortlisted candidates and then for further and the further round will be interview round so this time they have a complex structure of uh, okay. selecting selection but yeah last year it was pretty easy okay okay uh, so uh, what is the selection criteria like how they define like this is a good candidate or that like i actually cannot comment on it because they only see how much passionate you are about technology and things going on so the fellowship program was having a different intent they want to promote female candidates who are like really passionate about technology but this time they are they are planning to give mentorship or something kind like that so this time they are seeing that who is eager to learn and uh, who is ready to invest 6 months with them so, okay okay just this this okay. is just a tentative answer to your question because i actually don't have any idea on what basis this is it <laughs> yeah okay so uh, what is must in resume uh, one must not forget to put the put to get shortlisted for uh, such programs like what is the main thing to put in a, in our resume yes so uh, coming on the resume resume plays really an, is a really important part in your application because mm -hmm. resume is something which is going to define you your uh, uh, or all about yourself like what you have done what you are actually interested in what you know what you are good at and all those things so i will personally suggest that right try to put everything which you have uh, which you have as an achievement accomplishment in your resume for example if uh, like for according to me the standard resume template should look like you should add your first of all you should add your school uh, like marks or cgp or whatever you have in your academic background the grading thing then you should add your uh, uh, experience and the experiences if you have done internship or if anyone ha is an open source contributor or something 
something related to this kind of thing that like it is your experience or something add put your experience then i'll say then that add your projects like put mention all your good projects not too much if you are if you have done a basic project of learning and you have five other projects also then don't put the sixth one but yes good projects which can create an impact on the interviewer on the recruiter that will help add your projects and describe a project describe it a little bit because if you have a complex name of your project then after adding it in your resume it will not make sense because otherwise other person will not be able to read and understand what this project is so put a small description of all the experiences projects and also the technologies you have used to do the project after that i'll suggest you to anyone to put their achievements uh, coding profile if they have and um, uh, Uh, and the position of responsibilities and extra curriculars or curric curriculars all those again it is this demonstrating your accomplishments and achievements at the end in the resume in a single page okay 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 that's good so uh, like uh, how was your experience like that's the thing um for me it was like really uh, like it was a surprise for me because i got my internship offer from jb morgan and after that i was just like okay in my third year i got an offer i was just sitting and thinking okay what is happening around i got to know about this opportunity i filled and wrote answers uh, and like wrote my self nomination and everything in a very calm way okay this is it i have done this i am interested in this all those things in in a very like lame manner but when i got the when i got to know that okay i am selected among 30 candidates only like i am one among 30 who are selected from all over the country and like uh, all the colleges where dish or higher have applied all the colleges students have applied and this was open for all the branches so again that that was a huge achievement for me that i got selected by dish or because it is, it is a dream to join dish or for, uh, for most of us so <laughs> this was it that's good yeah so uh, uh next question is like why one should apply for this position um i would say that for second year in your second year and third year you don't have much to do like in terms mm -hmm. of getting experience you either go to startups or somewhere to do internship mm -hmm. or you have your academic thing going on like your semesters are going on and you are studying so if a corporate firm if if such a big corporate firm opens up for you first the second year and third year students then taking a chance to apply is good thing because it will add on to your uh, to your trajectory that you have experience you got to know about corporate because after two years when you are you will be officially applying for jobs and all those things you will be in the process but if prior to that you are getting something extra then it's good to apply there is no mm. harm in taking such opportunity yes 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 that's the thing yeah so there is a question uh, in chat box like uh, hello anusha my question is what are the internship or job opportunities at de show which are open for all students like not specific for female students uh actually this this for de show ascend fellowship is for female but yeah de show opens up for uh, uh, internship hiring and they go to some specific uh, campuses which with whom they have tie up with, with and then they uh, recruit students for internship from there and then uh, in like uh, in november or december ending they open up for the full time hiring also so okay. this is what i what i know okay. about the dish or hiring okay okay so uh, uh, there is one question like any tips from your side like uh, to select get selected in this program uh, yeah Uh, according to me the self nomination plays an important role and self nomination is a cover letter kind of thing where you have to like express yourself not in a very resume format or not in a story format basically you have to write a paragraph picturizing yourself so to anyone who is applying for the this especially this is or, or this fellowship educare all this program then they they have they should put their maximum focus on the nomination because that is something they read and on based on that they select you so i wrote my nomination like i took two days to write my nomination letter so it is something i will suggest you to work on 
before applying. Okay, 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 okay. that's good. Cool. So uh, there is one question like, uh, why should decent uh, Dishaw Accent Fellowship Educator Admission Committee offer you the admission over the qualified candidates? How should one approach to answer this? Oh, can you please repeat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So, uh, like, uh, Ascent Educator uh, Fellowship Program Admission Committee offered you the admission over the qualified candidates. How should one approach to answer this? Over the qualified candidates. Uh, how did they know that who are the qualified and who are not qualified? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, how should uh, one approach to this an uh, this answer? Uh, also, this is a confusing question, I guess. Yeah, we should skip it because they'll <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. qualified, they'll only tell you that you are qualified. Or yes, yes, yes. That's the thing. So there is one question like, what sort of extra uh, curricular activities should we mention? Uh, apart from technical, everything is considered in extracurricular. So I would say uh, you can mention whatever you are good at. If you are good at dancing, you have a, some, uh, you have earned some position in dancing, national level, state level, whatever. You can write that in extracurricular. And also, if you are a part of college club or you are part of some any kind of society clubs or etc., you can mention that in extracurricular. Or anything which defines you apart from tech is extracurricular, basically. So you can write anything other than tech. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, so guys, if you have any kind of questions, so feel free to like comment down below because uh, Anusha will answer your question. If you have any type of question, please comment down. Uh, there is one question what things we should mention in the uh, nomination letter okay so in the nomination letter basically you have to convince uh, you have to tell them that you are really passionate about technology and in your school life or college life or your life till the time of application what all things you are you have been involved in and how you try to explore this field for example, uh, last year when I wrote my nomination letter, I have uh, I have done one internship. I have participated in one hackathon, and uh, also I was part of various clubs in my college and did some volunteering activities, did some fundraising activity, or all those things, and took up really lot of courses, did projects. So I created a paragraph combining all these qualities and expressed in such a way that the reader will really get impressed by uh, after reading that. So in while writing the self nomination, I kept all these points in mind. So to anyone who want to who want really suggestions for writing, you should write all your achievements in one page that you which you want to uh, tell the reader. So put all the points, uh, all the things on in some rough page or something in point format and then convert those points, link all those points in a passage and then Submit your first nomination after that. That's cool. Okay, guys. Uh, any other question? If you have, please uh, like uh, comment down below. Uh, so I don't think uh, there are no questions. So I think we wrap up the session. Right. So uh, thank you, Anusha Jain, for joining our session. And it was a very good interactive session. And students are gaining some good knowledge from this. And thanks for joining again. And thanks, Attendee, for joining our session. Thanks, Ayatya, for inviting me. It was really nice uh, to be on this session. OK. Thank you, everyone.